like a a thing showing off the gameplay of the new the new game tomorrow. Wait, seriously? Yeah. What time? Uh, I can pull it up on my phone. Give me a second. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, okay. I know I sent it to Troy or something. I think I sent it to you too. Um, I haven't been checking Instagram. No, I didn't send it to you. Um, let me see if I can find it, and then I'll send it to you. State of play, May 27th. Uh, in the last 20 minutes. So it's probably just fortunate. gonna be Horizon then. Yeah, uh, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Is that Eastern yeah. time? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Oh, pac cool. Pacific time. Pacific, so that's like gonna be what? Uh. Like, I can't remember if it's Eastern is faster or slower than Pacific. Or, you know, in front of or behind Pacific time, I can't remember. I think it. Um, Pacific time is gonna be like California, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're faster and we're slower, so like. Oh boy, yeah, I don't. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> um. I know how we get Ryan's attention. How? We just spam him with the Division 2 invites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'd hate us. <laughs> he would.
Okay, that's all conversation stuff done. Okay, talk to everybody. Yeah, I did. Okay, so. system in the Maroon Sea Cluster. I need to find the Maroon Sea Cluster. Okay, Maroon Sea Cluster. There we go. Ashian Vostok. Matano, there we go. Uh, let's see. Dude, I think I'm getting really close to getting the completionist trophy. Really? Yeah, I counted up the number of quests I've done. I've done like 47, and I think I need only 50. Oh, nice.
Come on, come on, there we go. Dang it, turn, come on, come on, come on. How do I get out of it? Seriously? Come on, climb, dang it. Get up there, there we go. <sighs> dang it, come on. Okay. Okay. 
Wait, what? Sweet, awesome. Oh, frick. Okay, somehow the vehicle didn't explode from me doing that. Awesome. So, dude, what'd you end up playing? I am playing Dishonored. I uh, want to check it out. I want to okay. see what it's like. I've been curious about it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I bet you five bucks though that one day you're gonna look at your games and be like, oh my gosh, I have so many games that I've started and never finished. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I'm already kind of like that, but it's, it's, it, you know, like, Troy doesn't finish games, I start games early and just keep adding on, but at least I do finish games. <laughs> true, true. I think Troy but... barely plays anything other than Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, so, the only game that he's he's finished after like in the last like year or two, the only game he's finished Greedfall. is and Spider Man. Yeah, technically like he finished that. It's just like seriously, uh, man, come on. Need two trophies left. Well, no, 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 hard ones. Yeah, I wasn't even talking about that. I was just talking about you know those are the only two games he's finished in the last year. That are not Call of Duty. It's like seriously. Yup. Play something else. Real? I mean, he plays other things. He just never finishes it. Yeah. Like I gave him Bioshock, and he played a little bit of it, and then he was like, "Yeah, no." How do you not finish it? I think he, it wasn't really something he was interested in. Like he played a little bit, and he was spooked out by it. How do you not be interested in Bioshock, though? Dude, right? Bioshock's amazing. I mean, granted, I love the third one way more than the other two. Like, if uh, the, fr the first one, the first one's always gonna have a special spot for me. Mm. Like, I love the first one. The second one was good, but it doesn't hold up as well, like, in hindsight. You know what I mean? Oh man. Like, I, think fun it, to... I think it's amazing. It was... I love the third game. Oh, uh, I was talking about the second game. Oh, yeah, second game, no. Second game doesn't hold up that well. I was being like, what do you mean it doesn't hold up that well? <laughs> the third one, the third one's amazing. Yeah, okay. Lo I love the third one. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, the second <laughs> one doesn't quite hold up as well in hindsight, especially with it its was... hard mode. Like, there's no way you're getting yeah. through that without cheating. No, no. But, like, even, like, story-wise, like, it was, it was good while you're playing it, and then, like, just looking back on it, like, afterwards, you're like, Eh, it, like it was, it was an okay game. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
I got fun with it, but I wouldn't play it again. Whereas the other two, I would absolutely play. Yeah, again. I would definitely play the third one again. I might play the first one again. Well, yeah, I think I'd play the first one again. Yeah. I first wasn't. Was I wasn't as big a fan of the first game as you were. Really? Yeah. Like, I like the atmosphere. I like the world building. I like all that stuff. It's cool. It's just the thing for me is like I don't, I don't necessarily like creep. I don't like creepy games that much. Whereas the first one very much was a creepy game. Yeah, and it, that was the vibe it was going for, and it did it brilliantly. It was great. Like for what it was going for, it was great. But it's like for me personally, like going back to Rapture and that world, it's just like I don't. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's beautiful, but I don't want to look at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's the vibe they're going for, but yeah. Yeah. So it's I get like, that. It, it's great. The, it, the world is beautiful looking, but it's beautiful in a creepy way that I just don't want to look at, if that makes right. sense. And so that kind of makes it, it like... Does. I don't, so that kind of makes it like, I don't really want to look at the, you know, go play back through this world because just think, mm, okay. Because it's kind of gross. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. That's, that's <laughs> kind of it. The world is kind of gross, yeah. but that's what they were going oh. for, so it worked well, but right. it just, it doesn't make me want to replay that game super a lot. Yeah. I can eat or it as like, well. <laughs> <laughs> or as like, infinite the world was like pretty like, yeah and i love the vibrant story and, i love yeah. the story it's so good the story yeah the story is amazing yeah i love those games where it's like they do all the time travel stuff that makes you think at the end and be like yeah yeah well like i with, you see the, the meme where, where it's, it's like not stupid levels of making you think where it's like you know nothing makes sense and yeah i mean granted the, the ending is convoluted in a good way but there's also convoluted Correct. in a bad way. Right. Whereas they, they did it well. Yes. Um, yeah, no. That's like, I, you see the meme where it's like, you know, when, it, when you finish a game and you're just sitting at the credits like this. Yeah. And that Bioshock yeah. Infinite is the first game that I think of when, when I see that meme. Yeah, Infinite did that for me. I think of... Kingdom Hearts 2, the first time I played Kingdom Hearts 2, I remember finishing it, and when I was done, I just sat there thinking, wow, that was amazing. Actually, no, yeah. I felt that way with Kingdom Hearts 1 as well, because I remember when I saw Cage 2, because we had um, this store in Conquer that used to sell retro games, it's called We Buy Stuff or whatever, it's where I bought Kingdom Hearts games from, and it was in high school, and the thing is, unless it was Christmas birthday, I would never ask my parents to buy me games. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I would just save up and buy them myself. But I saw, this was after I played Kingdom Hearts 1. I saw Kingdom Hearts 2 on the shelf, and I was literally begging my dad to buy it for me. And, like, <laughs> I never do that, ever. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how... That's great. Yeah, that's how, like, good Kingdom Hearts 1 was, and Kingdom Hearts 2 lived up to that. Yeah, so there was those two. Horizon Zero Dawn. I definitely felt that during the credits. Of Rise and Zero Dawn. That game's uh, so good. Yeah. See, you... You definitely remember Horizon Zero Dawn a lot more fondly than I did. <laughs> I love that game, man. It's so good. And, and the game is amazing. But, like, every time it comes up, you're like, dude. And I'm like, I agree with you, but I don't, like... <laughs> if, if I was talking about it with somebody else, I wouldn't be like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't rave about it as much. I, I can't, I don't really know how to explain it. It's something about the world and the story. It just captures this sense of adventure that yeah. very few games manage to do for me. And those are the ones I enjoy and love the most. Is yeah. When a game manages to do that. When a game manages to hook me in and make me feel like I'm living a movie, really. Oh, yeah, no, I 100% agree. And for some reason, that game didn't did do the same. Fully for me, I loved yeah. everything about. It. I loved the world building. I loved the machines. I loved the uniqueness of it all. I loved the story. It was just so good. Yeah. 
See, that's like the, I like, like I remember it so fondly. I'm scared to go back and replay it because <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to take my memories of it. <laughs> um. <sighs> also, I think it's combat is also what really sold me because it's one of the few times where I played a game where they had a bunch of different combat stuff, and I feel like I really mastered it. Yeah. Which I don't really feel like I do that very often where they add, like, you know, like with the, the most recent God of War. Like, I got okay with the combat, but I never felt like I mastered it. Right. You know? Yeah. I see what you mean. Whereas with, like, no, Horizon, I, I, like, aside from maybe were like like, using a couple of weird weapons that I didn't touch, like, I felt <laughs> like I mastered how to play that. Yeah. No, I love when that happens. Yeah. Um,. And that doesn't happen very often one. for me, so... Yeah. No, that was... It was a fun game. That was my second Platinum, actually. Yeah, I don't remember what Platinum that was for me. Yeah. I need to go play the Frozen Wilds DLC soon. I jumped back in and played a little bit of it. It's, uh... So far, it's good. I need to go back and play more of it. Yeah, I need to finish it before, um... The new one comes Yeah, the out. new one. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, another too. one I think I felt that was Ratchet and Clank. Ooh. When I finished Ratchet and Clank, I like sat there and was like, "That was amazing." The PS4 one. Yeah. Like it I started, needed, it started, I needed it was to finish fine, that. It was fun, but what hooked me so hard was its gameplay. Its combat yeah. was so good. <laughs> it was like refined to perfection. It was so good. Yeah. There's something in this room I'm supposed to find, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Um, I'm very excited for the new one to come out. I'm yeah, not gonna get it right away. Good. I'm not gonna get it right away just because I haven't finished the the PS4 one. Well, actually, the um, new one does not build off the PS4 one. Oh, it doesn't really. No, because the PS4 one is a remake slash reimagining of the original game. Uh. And so you see what they were doing. They're, what they're doing is they're going back to where the previous game left off, which was into the Nexus. Which was on the okay. PS3. Interesting. Because um, Into the Nexus didn't sell super well or something like that. It was critically not received well or something like that. I'm not sure. I think the main complaint was it was way too short. Um, mm -hmm. And so they decided to go for a reboot slash reimagining of the original game. And that sold well, but some fans had problems with it because of characterization or something. Because they switched the characters a little bit from what they were in the original but I never uh, played the original before I played that, so that didn't bother me at all. Um, <laughs> but so they're going back to uh, the... F I think it's called like the future timeline or something like that is what the main story is called. I don't remember. But like... So they're, they're going off of... They're like continuing from where Into the Nexus left off, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Yeah. Because like, I played the original <sighs> trilogy, then there's like... Tools of Destruction. Uh, there's like a bunch, but only like three or four are actually part of the t main storyline. I know Tools of Destruction are in there. I know, I think Quest for Booty is in there. Quest for Booty. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, all the names of the games are in Nuendos after the first one. Because the second one's called Going Commando, right. the third one's called Up Your Arsenal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, there's Size Matters. Um, this is Ratchet and Clank? Yes, these are all the different... This is Ratchet and Clank. These are all the different names of the Ratchet and Clank games. Uh, there's what? Size Matters. Um, there's... Uh, uh, all for One didn't really have any... Oh, Full Frontal Assault was one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. Uh, Into what the Nexus. The um, let me think. Quest for Booty... Uh, Tools of Destruction. Uh, I think one was called Crack in Time. I think that was like the really good one that people really love. But um, yeah, I think that's most of them. Yeah, I think that's most of them. Cool. I don't know if there's so many Ratchet and Clank games. Oh yeah, they've made a lot. I had no idea. Yeah. I played the original trilogy, uh, and I played the remake. Okay. 
I'm hoping to get Tools of Destruction soon and play that. Nice. But yeah, I'm not getting uh, Rift Apart Day 1, simply because I don't no. have a PS5, so I can't. <laughs> if you had a PS5, would you? Mm, probably not. I think yeah. the only thing I'm going to get day, if I, if I had it, that I would get Day 1 would be... Um, Horizon. Horizon, yeah. Yeah. At the moment, it would be Horizon. No. So, say you got PS5 right now. Shut up at your door right now. Um, what? I think I've asked this already, but like, what would be the first game you played on it? Astrobot, because it's free. Nice. And then um, first game I actually buy to play on it probably be Miles if Horizon's not yes. out yet. Yes. Yes. Nice. Um, and then I also would highly, highly, highly recommend Returnal. Uh, I can't even tell you how I much fun that game is. I will probably wait for a massive price drop on that before I think about buying it. Fair. Fair. Because roguelikes is... are not really my thing. Mm, fair. Dude. I can't even tell you, like, I don't know what it is about I this game, fine. but, like, I popped off. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm very good at this game. <laughs> nice. Like, you heard me, like, that one night yeah. I beat two bosses in one night, and you're like, I don't think Alex has ever popped off this much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's true. Like, I don't know what it is about that game. Yeah. But, like, I did it. I, I beat the game under 50 deaths, I think, is what I managed to do. And I'm like, I've seen different things on Reddit where people are like, they've gone past 50 deaths, and they haven't, they haven't even made it off, like, the first biome. Wow. And I'm like, damn. Wait, this door's supposed to open back. Don't tell me the game glitched out on me again. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Fine, go back to the ship, come back down, drive back over here. <sighs> no, come on, move. Thank you. But yeah, um, so yeah, the Ratchet and Clank definitely was one of those games. I'm trying to think of any others. Um, I surprisingly, like, I sort of felt it with the new God of War, but at the exact mm -hmm. same time, I didn't. But I've already, to I've already told you my feelings about that game, which is it doesn't feel like it's finished, and I don't mean finished as in it feels patchy or it's not done. It just it doesn't feel like its story's ending is a conclusion. Yeah, they kind of they kind of leave it on like a cliffhanger, right? Yeah, well, I don't, I'm not even talking about with Thor showing up or something like that, but I mean with its final boss and everything, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's a final boss, like you're done with the game, and that just that hurts the experience a little bit for me because I don't feel mm. like I'm done with it. Well, the final boss was the tattoo guy, right? Yeah. Ballrund or whatever his name was. Yeah. And then you climb the mountain and spread the ashes. Yeah. Yeah, but it, for some reason it just it doesn't... I don't know what it is. It just it doesn't feel like that's the end. It doesn't I, feel like that I should be the end. I don't think you've talked about this before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked about this once before, but it was like a couple months back, so you might not remember it. Okay. Huh. But it just, it doesn't... I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel like it's complete. Do you think story it's because you played some of the other, like, God of War games? That shouldn't do anything because they came before this one. Well, I mean, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you play the other God of War games, so, like, they follow a certain pattern. I've heard this one's different. That might be it. That might be it. I don't... I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just, I can't put my finger on it. It's just something feels off. Not off in a bad way, like they did something that wasn't quite right. It's just, there's something off about the ending that doesn't make it feel like it's finished. Like the story is hmm. finished, I mean. If that makes sense. It does and it doesn't. Like I get... I get what you're saying, but I didn't feel the same way. Yeah, no. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love that game. That game's really good. That game's amazing. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, yeah, no, it's it's fantastic. It just... 
I don't know what it is about the final boss. It just doesn't feel like conclusion to a God of War game. Hmm. I'm wondering what they're gonna do with the next game. I'm very excited for oh, that. Oh yeah, I'm very excited for Ragnarok. Oh very my god, excited for it. dude! Especially on the PS5, dude. Yep. It's gonna, it's gonna feel so cool. Yep. Dude, I can't wait to slaughter Thor at the beginning of the game. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wait, you great. you kept talking about Thor showing up. When did he show up? Uh, after credit scene, I believe. You see a guy stand I'm outside the hut. And you see the hammer on his um thing, and that's oh, it. Oh, I didn't realize that's who that was. Yeah, that's friggin' Thor. He's pissed that you killed Magni and Modi. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But no, I I really do love um that game. I love what it does with char with Kratos as a character. I lo yeah. I love everything it does with that because it, like it just it takes him from something that's very two dimensional and really fleshes it out a lot. Yeah. So like I was no, very it... impressed with all of that. No, that I would agree with that. I haven't played the other games, but I know enough about them to be also impressed with what they did. Yeah. Um. They like, just did a good that job part at the end where he lets Bal Balder, that was the guy's name, he lets Balder live oh. initially. Uh, that that yeah. was just, that was amazing. As somebody who's played the other three games, that was a huge moment. Yeah, that's true. And then when he, like, has to kill him and he goes, like, we must be better, it's like, dang, that's, that's huge moment yeah it must be better and then the dude tries to kill his mom and he's like okay yeah, well no that's what that he said we must be better is when he snaps his neck oh that's right nice and then the mom was pissed at him because she didn't let him kill her and yeah it's like bro you're legitimately crazy <laughs> yeah so no, I'm I'm very excited for more of that. I just I think it has something to do with the boss itself, the bo the final boss fight itself. As cool as it yeah. was, like I'm very used to God of War games ending with a huge spectacle fight. Whereas that was just kind of like I'm beating up a dude who's vulnerable now. Yeah, I mean the spectacle came with the giant that Freya was controlling, dragon. but the thing is, like you're supposed to, well no there wasn't a giant dragon in the fight. Freya controlled well, the corpse of the giant, and you're fighting on top yeah. of the giant or whatever. But it's still Before like the Before that, you were on a dragon, though. Yeah, yeah, but that was like midpoint of the game, I think. True, true. I'm just talking about the final boss. Because, like, first game, yeah. you fight Ares, the god of war, and he's, like, ginormous. And, like, you open up Pandora's box, and you, like, get the power to kill a god, and, like, you will become the same size as him. And, like, you're Damn. fighting in, like, the oceans right outside Athens. You can see the city is this tiny little speck, like, not speck, but this tiny little city down there. And it's, like, it feels epic and huge. Second game, you go up against, like, friggin' Zeus. And he's, like, same thing. Like, he's giant, except you're tiny, and you're, like, having to fight him like that. And that's just nuts. Damn. So, like, I'm, I'm used to... I guess the fights themselves feeling bigger at the end. Right. And I think Whereas that's this... I think that's what threw me so much about the ending for that game and why I didn't feel like it was finished story yeah. wise. Cause you're like, where's the giant ass fight? Like this is just this is the dude I found at the beginning. Yeah, no no, I mean I loved what I got. It was great. It just like, I'm not somebody who's like, I need a giant-ass fight in there. <laughs> Even if it doesn't but, work with the story or whatever. Like, no, that's, that's <laughs> not. It's just, it felt off. Yeah. <sighs> if that makes sense. No, it does. I think that explains why I didn't feel like it was off as well. Because uh -huh. I've never played the other games. Yeah.
But you know, I'm really pumped for another God of War. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm trying to think if there are any other games where I finished it and I was just like, wow, that was... Well, Death Stranding definitely made me feel... made me say wow when I was at the credits. But not because it was a great game. It was great story. Its campaign was great, but everything else... <laughs> everything else was not as... Yeah, everything else was not as great. Everything else was miserable to do. That's why I loved Horizon so much and rave about it, because even after like I platinum the game, I was sitting there going, I want more. I never do that. <laughs> That's why I remember that game so frigging fondly. Yeah. Is because even when I platinumed it, I was having so much fun even on like the stupidest of trophies. Like I still yeah. want like I wanted the trophy list to be longer so I could play the game more. <laughs> which is Oh, actually never mind. I was gonna say which is surprising why you didn't go to the DLC and then I realized you didn't have it. Yeah, I don't buy when DLC I, that often. When I got the game I just got the full thing and I yeah, had the no. DLC the entire time. No, I bought I bought it, um I got it for Christmas. I didn't get the uh ones that had the DLC with it. Gotcha. I don't think the DLC was out at that time, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Um oh, that was another game I just thought of where I loved the end where I loved it all the way through. What was that? Title. Frick. Now this is gonna bug me. What was that game? <laughs> Uncharted 2. Uh... Uncharted 2, definitely. Love that game. Yeah. I played that game seven times. I went through the campaign three times without doing, just for the sake of doing it. Not to even like work on trophies, not to do anything else, just because I was loving it so much. That's insane. Yeah. I never do that. Ever. No, I don't either. I don't think I've ever done that before. That's just how much I loved Uncharted 2. Like, by the time I was done with that game, I played it through so many times, I was sick of it. Like, I literally, like, tried to play again. I'm like, oh no, no more. <laughs> You're like, I've played enough of this game. Yeah. I think I'm almost ready to go back and play it again, though. <laughs> there, there was that one. There's Uncharted 4. I love that game. That game's great. Uncharted 4 is very good. Love that game. I loved how it ended. Nathan Drake's story. Yeah. No, they did a good job with it. Yeah, that that game was fantastic. Uh, Mass Effect 2. Definitely felt that. With Mass Effect 2. Mm. It's funny. I will I, get to experience it eventually. It's funny because I say there's not a ton of games that I've felt like that about when I finished it, but then I list off a ton of games, but it's like, I've played so many others that it really yeah. isn't that many of the games I've played. Right. No, like percentage-wise, it's not as I do you know. Frick, 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 I'm gonna die. No, no, I'm good, okay. I would say, I think my percentage is a little bit higher for a couple reasons. One, those are the ty the types of games that I tend to stick with. I yeah. I notice, like, there are games I'll start and then I'll stop just because I'm not being sucked in as much. Yeah, I'm a person who just hardcore just goes for it. <laughs> right. Like, Which I just is, dedicate myself to it. You just... You just go all in. Yeah. Whereas I try to, and then I'm like, or I could do this, and then I go for that one. Um, which is why, like, I have so many things in my backlog. <laughs> um, but, and then the other reason that I think my percentage is a little bit higher for that stuff is because I haven't played as many games as you. Yeah, but you haven't had the console as long as me. Right, exactly. But, like... If you look at the games that are platinum, like I would say most of the games there, like I've had a really good experience with. Like Spider-Man is my first platinum, and 
it's still one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. Um, I like Horizon that Zero. game. It's not as... I don't think it's quite as great as people say it is. It's really good. It is yeah. really good. But it was kind of like God of War for me where I was playing it. I'm like, I'm not quite feeling the raving hype that everybody else is with it for some <laughs> reason. Yeah. I could tell, like, even while you were playing it, you're like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's like, I was, I was like, having genius. fun. It's it's really good. But, like, I don't yeah. know, man. It's, I, I definitely could probably say easily it's one of the best Spider-Man games ever made. Easily, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can probably easily say that. Um, but it was just like, eh. it was like, it, it's, it's, it was like, I'm having fun with it. It's good. Yeah. I would say Miles, Miles is a good, like, it's a good bridge in between that and the next game that's coming out. Ooh. Um, they fix all the, like, annoying things for, like, trophy hunting. They f they fix it in, the, in Miles. Like, nice. they make everything so much easier. Nice. I like the um, sound of that. There's no screwball challenges. <laughs> oh, wait, that was DLC. Never mind. Yeah, I didn't do DLC. Sorry. I never um, did the say It never sleeps. Dude, the DLC for Spider-Man is so good, too. Yeah. When you get Miles, I, like... Highly recommend. I think dumping the seventy dollars on the one that gets me the remastered version. Yeah, I think you. Um, I think if that also has the DLC in it. I'm not positive. I think it does too. Uh, but here's the thing: if I was gonna do that, I'd probably just spend a little bit of extra. I'd probably just take a little bit of that money and buy the DLCs with the PS4 version. That way, I can finish of... off the trophy list. Ooh, true. Instead of just adding another list to my thing true um that's fair but you also could if you got the remastered version you could just get a free plat just right off the bat there that's true that is true so either way hey let me look at my like i've done a lot of games that we were talking about like i've push through, just go for it, even though I'm not having a great time. I've done a lot of those. I know you have. Like, I want to get my phone and look at this from here. <laughs> Wait, are you going to PSN profiles or the... Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll pull that up. Give me a second. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm curious. How many of these did I, like, really hate doing? Because I want to look at mine and I want to look at yours at the same time. Ah, okay. Da, 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 da. So I'll pull up mine and then I'll pull up yours. Okay. Well, I'm enjoying Mass Effect, so I don't think that's going to make the list for games that I really had to push through because this is not a hard trophy list and I'm having a pretty good time with it. Um, Kingdom Hearts, Melody of Memory. Yeah, after I finished the campaign on that, rest of it wasn't that much fun to do. <laughs> and it hurts me to say that because it's a Kingdom Hearts title. <laughs> Last Guardian I haven't even finished yet, and that game's been miserable to try and finish. Yo. It was a fun experience the first time. To play, just a straight yeah. up play. Yeah, just a straight up play, it was a fun experience. But trying to plat the thing sucks. Yeah. The Witness, yes, your that favorite. Sucks. I hate that. <laughs> oh, that sucked. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima is good. I don't think it's as, as amazing as you think it is, but it's good. I had fun with it. It was a good plot. Well, yeah. Um, I would agree with you there. Like, what, like, that's why when you were like... I remember back when the Game Awards were coming out, and you were like, dude, Ghost of Tsushima should probably hands down win over Last uh, of Us. And I, I was like, well... I still think it should win over Last of Us, because it didn't destroy its fan base. It didn't, like, completely <laughs> it didn't divide have... it in half. Well, it didn't have a pre-existing fan base, to be fair, but... Okay, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, no, I do. I mean, even Japanese developers are like, yeah, we should have been the one to make that game. They got it so <laughs> right. They got our culture yeah. so right in that game. Yeah. Like, so yeah. Uh, Brotherhood. That what is was, it? That was where do they have? Sake? Is that sake. what they do? Sa yeah. Sake. Sake. Um, yeah. Then there was Brotherhood. I hated that. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, all that online grinding. That was terrible. And then the bane of my existence for eight months. Fall Guys. Fall Guys. <laughs> Fall I didn't think you were actually going to platinum that. Dude, I got, I got lucky with that because of the squad mode <laughs> that yeah. they put in. And because that stupid exploit, they people discovered that they recently patched out because they put in custom game mode or something. It was like you and three other people, but you weren't supposed to be able to get in a lot of it, but somehow people found a way to get around it. Now the trophy's up to a Damn. 2% because of it. Damn. And I'm kind of annoyed because it was the only trophy, <laughs> it was the only platinum I had that was beneath 2%. I had a 1% platinum. And now, no longer. Yep. Then there's Sonic Forces, <laughs> which, you know my opinion on that game. <laughs> Um, it was ass. <laughs> <laughs> there is some good elements in there. I will say that there are some good elements, but it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> some good elements. Like if you if you try and duct tape turd together, you you could duct tape it together. You could duct tape pieces of turd together as well as you want to, but it's still turd. <laughs> you could do a brilliant job of duct taping, but it's turd. <laughs> Still, just absolute shit. Yeah. What What's on your list? Oh, for me, um, let me look. So, uh, I mean, I still got a lot Effect. to go through, but I don't want to just keep talking and talking and talking. <laughs> Mass Effect, terrible. <laughs> <Blasphemy>. <laughs> Hey, Are we just talking like platinums or just games that we, we finished? We can talk and... both. Finished, started, okay. all of it. Okay, Resident Evil Village, 10 out of 10. Love that game. So much fun. Like, fun to play, the story was amazing. I just hooked from start to finish. Loved it. Returnal, amazing. Also 10 out of 10. Uh, the Witness, um, there's a reason I haven't gone back to platinum it yet. <laughs> Uh, so you've got like uh, Celeste on your thing, and I've done yeah. that thing on it. I I started it just to kind of hop in for a little bit, and then yeah. I'll go back. Oh, you got I do that. Too? I like. Oh yeah, I did. Hannah wanted to play it with me, so oh, I was like, I'll get yeah, it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I don't think she's gonna like trophy hunt it with me though. So like, yeah. whenever you get around to doing it, yeah, I'm, well, I, I would to love to play it. it with you. I have to buy it. The problem is, I have such a huge backlog. I'm trying yeah. not to buy more games, so I can try and put a dent in the friggin' thing. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. But whenever you whenever you feel like getting it, like yeah. hands down, definitely yeah. wanna play it with you. Uh, dude, Little Nightmares. Oh my god. I can't believe there's Both no time for that. Oh yeah, I know. That's why I kinda stopped doing stuff with yeah. it. Like, well, I did you, most you were of going it. Hard on that. I was. The second one is even better than the first one, dude. Like it's they're both so good. Nice. Um, I played a little bit of Oddworld, and I was like, not feeling it. Yeah. You were right uh, about I, that, though. It is a remake of an older game. I thought it was a sequel. Odd, Oddworld? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. And then on both um, of our lists, we have Remnant. Yeah, so I, I think we both good. That was great. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Start to finish. You, you and Ryan liked it a lot more than I did. I really liked it, but... Like, I think, he, like, like if we had played individual playthroughs, right, each of us playing it individually, you guys would have kept going, and I probably would have been like, eh. Mm. But I had a lot of fun because I was playing yeah, with you guys. I don't know what it is. It was something about the way the multiplayer worked in it that yeah. made it The great, multiplayer was a lot of fun. In my opinion, because I didn't really ever play it that much solo, except for the one stupid trophy of kill a boss without taking damage. Yeah, same. Then I have Sniper mm -hmm. Elite 4, which you, you know my feelings on that game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, that was terrible. Yep. It's a great game, but it is not my type of game. <laughs> I, have fun, I have fun playing the multiplayer stuff with you. Yeah, you helped me out with that, so thank you for that, because that would have yeah. been even more of a nightmare fun. than it was on its own. Uh, then I had Killzone, which just, mm, no, just no, just no. Killzone? I, yeah, I bought the kill. I bought the Killzone trilogy because it's one of those, 
you know, PS2 trilogies that got ported in a collection pack to PS3, so they're considered classic. Uh, they're made by the guys who made uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Wow. Because it's made by Guerrilla Games. Killzone franchise. So I'm like, okay, I'll play it. Not good. And it has not aged well. The first one has not aged well at all. Damn. And it was just um, like, the worst was the stupid troll, because like, you gotta get from level 2 to level 11 with this character, then go back and start at level 3 with a different character and play through uh, to level 11 with that character, then go back and start at level 4 with this character and play to level 11 with that character. And it was just asinine. That's terrible. The, that sounds like when we played Borderlands, and yeah. we were like, okay, time to go back and kind do of, like, the like, beginning. like. But like, multiply that by like 50. Because mm. you had to like play through mm -hmm. the entire game with each character. Oh, no. Yeah. The only difference is no. you'll be able to cut out, like, maybe a couple levels at the beginning. That's terrible. Yeah. Then I've got PUBG on here at a 1%. <laughs> because that one stupid trophy. <laughs> For resing me. <laughs> yes. <sighs> I have Control. Control is great. Control is so good. I don't think it's one of those ones where I sat at the credits and was like, wow. That was amazing, but it was good. No. I had a lot of fun with it. Mainly because I think its ending was way too abrupt. Because <laughs> it, yeah, it, it, it was just it was, ended. It just it ended. It was good up until... I remember thinking, like, that last level where you're jumping through, like, the area. I'm like, this is so cool, but, like, if this is all this is, I'm going to be very disappointed. And that was pretty much all it was. Like, it wasn't a boss fight. It was yeah. just, like, making sure this dude's, like, evil, like... Yeah, yeah, and I was just like, okay, this okay. game was amazing up until the end. However, the end the kind of one flat. thing I cannot praise enough, the Alan Wake DLC. Oh yeah, my I, god, that was amazing. As I still somebody, need to play it. Yeah, as somebody who's like, I'm not a huge fan, I'm like a, like a, I'm not like a, oh my god, Alan Wake, so amazing fan. No, Alan Wake was a good game. It wasn't amazing but i love that like they're bringing it back after 10 years yeah. finally giving fans more story i love that kind of stuff and they did it so it's... friggin well <laughs> no i didn't even know like really who it was but like even in the main game when they had like a little bit of like the easter egg stores i was like that's so cool yeah i remember before yeah. they announced the dlc even when they put that little bit of easter eggs in there i was i was nerding the hell out when i saw that yeah i was like yeah. oh my god alan wake <laughs> mm -hmm. i have um suicide guy on here <laughs> <laughs> uh, that looked interesting in all honesty it looked kind of fun it was it feels like a very beginning version of a game. Yeah. Like it's it's definitely like Okay, let me feeling, let me rephrase like, that. I loved how many references I was hearing when you were yes, playing. The, it. <laughs> the references to the different movies and games were it was a lot of fun to be like, Oh my god, yeah, cause, Indiana Jones. Because I, I adore reference humor, so Mm hmm I mean, was, there was a lot of that. Then I have Goat Simulator, which just Yep. Floppy Goat. Haunts my nightmares. <laughs> oh god, that was so painful. It was so freaking painful. I remember you being like, I'm gonna do Goat Simulator, and I was like, okay man, let me know how it goes. And you were like, it wasn't that bad, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> what? I did not say it wasn't that bad, I said it wasn't that bad except for Flappy Goat. Yeah. You know, like, was, if you can get Flappy Goat, it's easy. Yeah, because I was like, it's gonna take you hours to get Flappy Goat, and you're like, I did it in 45 minutes, I'm like, what the frick? It took me three and a half hours! <laughs> I was so pissed that you got that so easy! <laughs> well, I warned you, I was like, I, I used to be very good at Flappy Bird. I know, you're like, but like, so... I, thought, I thought it was like a very jank version of Flappy Bird. Cause yes was like, or no? There was like many times where it's like, I should have cleared the pipe. But the game's yeah. like, hey, there's an invisible pixel of your foot hitting it. Like, but yeah. my foot isn't even touching it. They can literally see space between my foot and the pipe. It's like, we don't care. We don't care. You lost. Yeah, Have exactly. Fun. So it's like, oh my god. So that's why I thought it was going to be hard for you. Even though you've done Flappy Bird before. Yeah. Because I thought it was just going to be like, it's a super jank version of Flappy Bird. Which it was. 
You are you're not wrong about that. But yeah. it wasn't like that the entire time. <clears throat> it was just certain certain times you went through it it would do that. But yeah. for the most part it was fine. Then I've got We Were Here, which okay, that was fun. Yeah. I had I, fun with that. I did it twice because I did it with Ryan too. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was that was okay. It was a good way to kill an hour or two. Yeah. Uh Concrete Genie. Interesting experience. Not a super fun platinum. No. No. It's very short though, I'd recommend you do it. Because it's yeah. only like, I mean, it's like already... a four hour game and like a, then you just gotta put in like maybe another four hours for the plat. Really short. Yeah, I mean I've already started some of it, so I plan on going back to finish it. Yeah. I have trouble like I was saying before, like I have trouble going back and playing games that I'm not super interested in. Yeah. Which I would definitely I would say that's one of them. Like I have it. It's like, yeah, I know it's an easy plat, but like, am I interested in spending my night this way? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was apparently my one of one of those was apparently my three thousandth trophy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have Donut County. Which Yeah, that's one where it's like you eat buildings as a donut hole or something like that. Yeah, it was a weird game. <laughs> um not a hard game at all, but very weird. Yeah, I have slide um, two, which that was okay. It's a good it's a good game for what it is. It's like I prefer Jack and Daxter, in all honesty, for like the PlayStation mascot trilogy stuff. Mm. But like Slide Two Band of Thieves for what it is is pretty good. I can see it. I um, I need to play the third one I and just wrap it up. Because I only got yeah. one more game in the trilogy. Nice. Um, I have Night in the Woods. Um, Isn't it like some horror game? I, it's an indie game that's mostly not horror, but like towards the end it's kind of creepy. Um, it's it, I played it because it's one of Hannah's favorite games. I was like, all right, I'll get it and I'll play it. Um, and then you looked at it and realized, oh, God, it's a 5% platinum. <laughs> Yeah, the platinum <laughs> art is you'd have to play it like six times to, to actually oh, do it. God. How long a game is it? It's not that long. I would say like five to ten hours, maybe. Ooh, so it's not it's not like an Erica, or it's like two hours visual novel things. Maybe it is closer to Erica. It's between that. I would, I would say around five hours. I don't think it's ten. Yeah. So. But then there's like a mini game inside of that game that's like straight up like Enter the Gungeon. Oh god, um, really? Okay. Yeah, just like straight up. Um, and you have to you have to beat that for a trophy and then also find a secret ending in that for another trophy. What? That's that's dumb. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Yep. Yeah. So like I don't I might go back and do that. It yeah. was a fun game to play. I liked it. Yeah, but my next one was Tomb Raider. That has to be the longest Ooh. online, one of the longest online grinds I've ever done. Really? Yeah, because the online is dead, but you can still set up a private lobby and play the rescue mode by yourself, which requires you to run around grabbing like these canis these med kits and bringing them back to your base. And you can get mm. XP for just getting the med kits and getting them back to your base. So you can oh. technically grind it by yourself. Bro. I did that, and it's not a level 50 grind, it's a level 60. Bro. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> because I was trying to clean up my trophy list a bit. And that one had been sitting at like 80% for like two years. Bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. The base game was really good. Because I had to go back through it for one stupid missable. Because it was a stupid thing. It's like you miss a single conversation, you got to replay the whole game. Damn. Yeah, there's only like seven conversations throughout, spread out throughout the game. You got to find all seven. You miss one, you got to restart the whole friggin' game. Oh. Which that I did sucks. when I went back to, because I went back into the campaign to try and get it. Because it'd been a couple years, and I missed one. So I'm like, frick, I gotta replay this entire frigging game again. <laughs> Luckily, it's a good game, Damn. so it wasn't too bad. Damn. Uh, I'd say my next one's probably Maquette. Which I have no idea what that is. It's a puzzle game, but like, like, 
Um, basically, you know the praise that you heard from, like... The Witness. Um, the Witness, yeah. The, this is kind of... This is the one that what, it? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, much, it's much shorter, and Witness the story was way too friggin' long. Yeah, Witness, Witness was, was way insanely, too friggin' long. Witness was insanely long, and also, like, the puzzles weren't explained at all. Whereas yeah. this one... There's a little bit more explanation, and also the puzzles are easier to figure out. Um, and also the mechanic of it is just very cool. Like, it's so cool. And then I just, I love the story of it, too. Nice. Like the, it's 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 a sad, like, melancholy story, but, like, it's it's very real. Yeah. Um, then I've got, like... The honesty oh, in it is, is what really hits you. Yeah. Yeah, Witness didn't really have a story. <laughs> I mean, no. it had some kind of weird story where, like, it's an <laughs> experiment in something or something. And, like, at the end, if you find the secret ending, it turns out you're in a VR world or something like that. And you go to the <laughs> real world at the end of the game. What? And it's like, oh, my God, dude, it's so friggin' weird, man. Like, <laughs> all of a sudden, the it, game turns, like, live action. And you get, like, a live action cutscene. Where it's, like, what? the developer is, like, taking himself out of, like, the thing from Sword Art Online. Is that why there's, like, that, like, room in there that's, like, with videos, like, the theater? I mean, maybe, I don't know, all I know is weird. That theater room was so freaking weird, man. Yeah, it was. Like, that game felt like an experimentation in pointlessness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. I, I have a game called... Active neurons on here <laughs> that I platinumed. That's one of the grub ones, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of the grub <laughs> ones. Yep. I was like five bucks for an easy plat. I'll take it. Yep, and I've got Borderlands three. Nice. I should have Borderlands three, <laughs> no, but I, I know don't. you should. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm whenever you're willing to go back and you want to replay on your oh, save, God. I will do it with you. Okay, I appreciate that. But you have to be ready to go back to do it, and you have to tell me, because yeah. I am not going to nag you about doing it, because I don't really no. want to go back right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to be bringing you'll, it up. You'll be in the middle of, like, one of your favorite games. Like, her, like you'll be playing the New Horizon game, and I'll be like, Josh, I'm ready for Borderlands 3. <laughs> I was like, shut the <laughs> up! Go back to playing <laughs> Active Neurons or whatever. Go buy a few more Grum Plats. <laughs> <laughs> Go get my name is Mayo. <laughs> Go get three. my name is Mayo Eight by this point. <laughs> oh uh, my god. Uh, yo, I got freaking yep. Rocket League, which that was, that was fun. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't bad. I had fun while I played it, but anytime Chris brings it up, I'm like. <laughs> Um, no. no. <laughs> hey, look, it's fun to play it with him sometimes, but sometimes he's just like, why aren't you guys hitting the ball correctly? He's like, Chris, we're not professional players at this. It's not that difficult. Chris, stop. It's not, it's not that hard to learn. And it's like, dude, we don't play we don't video have, games like you. We don't have the finger capability to do this. Okay. Right. He's, he's playing it on, like, freaking keyboard and, and well, mouse. Well, with keyboard and mouse, it would be, like, I think worse for me. <laughs> yeah, actually, Sam. <laughs> because having to try and angle the car with a keyboard and mouse in midair, that sounds horrible. Yeah, I'd agree with you there. That doesn't sound like fun. There's a reason we're console gamers, okay? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, I have Cyberpunk. Dude. Um... The grind at the end was insane. I loved that game. Sounds like Death Stranding honestly, to me. <laughs> I honestly think that, um, like, Keanu Reeves in this game, it's like his best acting performance, like his best character. Like, like I like Keanu Reeves. character over John Wick? If not over John Wick, equal to John Wick. Like, like equal to, like, Neo from, like... It's a, the character in this game is amazing. Mm. I love the character. I love how he plays him. Anytime he like pops up on screen, I would just be riveted. You know what I mean? Like, I love the story of. Yeah, Cyberpunk. I know. It's I know so the good. story. I looked up the cutscenes because I'm probably not going to play it. That's fair. Um, but yeah, no, literally, like, 
clearing out the map and doing all the uh, extra stuff afterward got so old. Mm. But I did it. I bet I've done stuff like that before. I, yeah. I feel that pain. And I bet <laughs> Sly Cooper one, which is like the fast one of the fastest ones I did. I did it in like three days. I did that game. Yeah. That's not like a short game. Like Damn, that's dude. like one of those like mascot platformer ones. So it's like it's not huge. But it's, you know, like, it's like Jack and Daxter sized. Or, you know. Yeah. Like, I cranked that out. That's awesome. Yeah. And then we both have Minecraft. Just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> just just sitting there. Yo. 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 What is it with us in Minecraft? We'll, like, make it to a certain point and then just quit. <laughs> yeah. I think, looking at my trophy list, I think what happened, or part of what happened, one, we both kind of got sick of it, because we hit that point where you need to grind and then two that was when i got my ps5 and i was like i'm gonna play ps5 <laughs> games now <laughs> yeah because we found the ender pearls and got the we, end portal we open got, which we never did before yeah. Uh, yeah neither of us have ever done that before but it's like oh now we gotta make all these potions and all this stuff and it's like i don't want to do that <laughs> yeah no i i did a little bit of it and then i was like yeah, yeah. Dude, that's all from this year for me. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Yeah, because I got one more, which is Red Dead. That's 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 the, that's the the first game I did this year. Red Dead, that's right. Yeah, I did Red Dead 1 at the beginning of the year. I finished it, so I got like one, two, three, four. Dude, you need to play Red Dead 2. I'm at 19 plats so far this year. Damn, I don't think I've ever done that. I'm like one away from 20. I think this is my best year so far. Yeah, I think it is too. Well, because right, I like, cranked out like 10 in Feb. Well, no, but it's mainly because I cranked out like 10 in February. <laughs> yeah, because you were like, Cause you like, were like, okay, I hit 50, and then bam. Yeah, because like boom, in boom, February boom. I did I finished Tomb Raider, and then right after that I did Sly. Finished. I did Concrete Genie. I did. Um, we were here. I did Goat Simulator. That's four games right there. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Nice. I'm at 18 because I didn't do control. Um, I did oh, DLC that's right. that moved it up the thing, so I'm at 18 plants, I think. But then nice. I, yeah, so I'm, I did like five or six games all in one month. That's crazy. I, like finished platinums because I had a bunch of games I had like right at the verge of finishing. I did like Sly One, Rocket League, and then um, Tomb Raider and what? Concrete Genie. We were here in Goat Simulator, so that's like seven games in a month. I think. I'm at 16 for this year. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Ghost of Tsushima, I didn't do this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do Horizon either, so that's 14. That's not bad, man. That's no, pretty good. That's, this is definitely my best year as well, I think. Yeah. Dude, Erica was a pain in the ass. Erica <laughs> was such a massive pain in the ass to do. <laughs> Yeah, having to I restart that. that stupid ass game every time just to get a couple of basic decisions I miss just oh. yeah it's that's not like why I can I just go to the one point I need I have to restart and sit through the entire two hour movie again yo no that's why I didn't do it because I realized that that's what that was and I was like I don't think I can I don't think I can do this yeah I was tearing my hair out at the end <laughs> I was so done with that game at the end. No, I know. I didn't even really like it the first time I played through it. In all honesty, it was okay. I enjoyed the story, but other than that, no. It was uh, a, it was an interesting experience the first time I played it. I'll agree with you. It was, it was. But then after that, it was just like I'm so sick of seeing these same cutscenes over and over again just to get to the one I tiny cutscene I didn't see before. I know. And I've got Kingdom Hearts 2, because that was my 50th. Nice. Which, that really slowed me down, because that took me four months one week to do. Damn. Damn. Yeah, um, that's why I've been putting off the last Kingdom Hearts game, which is Birth by Sleep, because that, that, that game scares me, <laughs> in all honesty. <laughs> <laughs> that game scares it, me. It scares um, you? I did it... I played it on PSP. It's the only one of the old ones that when I played them, like, 
back then I was trying to finish 100% each Kingdom Hearts game as I went, mm -hmm. I didn't 100% Birth by Sleep. I just went and replayed the entire game on hard mode so I could get the bonus cutscene rather than 100% the game. Because yeah. the super bosses were just stupid. <laughs> like, they were just dumb. I couldn't even get to the most difficult one because there's one before the most difficult one that's pretty hard. I couldn't even beat him mm -hmm. to get to the worst yeah. one. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I've got both. My name is Mayos. Not to flex on you or anything. <laughs> you gotta get the memes. You gotta get the memes. Gotta get the memes. Gotta get the memes. Oh, I got Tales from the Borderlands. I own that. that I'll was be doing that one. very soon. You'll like it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I just want to finish Mass Effect first. Dude, you know my next plot? I'll be at 70. Dude, I know. I can't believe it. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I'm closing in on a hundred. Dude, I feel like like yesterday you were like, yeah, I just did, you know, cage two for my fiftieth. Now you're at like <laughs> seventy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was back in December that I did cage. I finished yeah. cage two. True. So it's been five months. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like twenty plats in five months. That. That's crazy. Well, I did a lot of shorter ones. Not grub, but short. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, dude, I did Middle Middle Earth Shadow of War. Yeah, so you good. finally got around to finishing that. <laughs> dude. Because I remember you had so that on good. your list for a while. I'm like, dude, finish it. It's great. <laughs> but then yeah. I wanted to talk because I was the same way. I had it on there for like a year before I finished it. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I remember that. Yeah, I did like that eight-hour marathon while I was at college after a test one day when I finished that. I remember hopping on and being like, damn, that game looks like a lot of fun. I <laughs> wish I had it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I I think it was more the first one that I, I started and then didn't play for like a year. Oh, Shadow Mordor I did in like a week. Yeah, because like I was I the opposite. Burned through that. Yeah. Then I, I was the opposite. Basically, I, I I took me a little bit to get rid of get through the first one. Then I finally did it, and I was like, "This is amazing!" Yeah. And I started the second one, and I immediately was hooked, and I played through all of it. <coughs> and then I really just took a break before the end grind. So I took like a month off, I think, or like a couple weeks off before I just like did the grind because I knew that was going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Then I've got Borderlands 1 in pre-sequel, because I went back to do DLC on Borderlands 1, uh, and I did some nice. of it. I managed to finish, I managed to finish two of the th four DLCs, Damn. and I got through all the lesser arenas on Moxie, Damn, then, so dude. I just had the larger ones to do, but like, I've That's just impressive. been stalling on those. And I've got the RNG grind on the Crap Trap 1 to get the stupid parts mm. and stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. And pre sequel, I just. Mm. <laughs> I hated that so much. I was. I'm like four trophies away from the plat, and I can't bring myself to go back. <laughs> I got so sick of that game. Well, when you want to go back, I am all set up to power level you for the level 50 trophy. I, I have a level 50 trophy, I think. No, you don't. Pretty sure Let me you don't. Look. Hold on. I, I'm positive I have it. Um, hold on, where, where the level the, trophy is? Pretty sure you don't, man. I'm trying to find the level. Oh, what? I don't have the level 50 trophy. Damn, okay. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, you dropped out early on that one. <laughs> I mean, not that early. We were yeah, at like 45 or something. Yeah, not that early, but still. But, like, I am all set to, like, power level you. Okay. Work. Like, I... God, you're like... Oh, God, I hated doing crap. Because you got the worst done. You have the worst part of the game done. Which yeah. is crap traps. Crap trap. Stuff. Yep. Because every other character trophy is, like, a million times shorter. Right, because you can do it within the first, like, five to ten levels. Yeah, exactly. 
Where's Claptrap? You have to hit level 30. Yeah. It's so much... Yeah, every other single one is so fast. Yeah. Um... Yeah. The reason I dropped that, I think, is because I realized... One, I was sick of it. Two, the stuff we had left was mainly just, like... Fill out that stupidly, absurdly long list... That was most of our stuff boiled down to just doing that. Because if you do that, you get enough experience to get to level 50, and you also get those points to pull the oh, sword from right. the stone. You didn't get Excalibastered. No, because it was that all tied together. Like and it all came back to that list. To get that thing. So freaking what? pain. It took me like two and a half playthroughs to get that stupid sword. Damn, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was so um, dumb. Yeah. I realized, like, how long it was going to take to get that. I was like, oh, I'm out. Um, and then, what was the other thing? Oh, the other thing that discouraged me was the... There's a couple of RNG-related trophies, like, grinding guns and stuff. Yeah, that, like, yeah. we never could really yeah. get to work. Well, I did eventually get it to work, but... <laughs> you had to, like, do, like, boss fights to, like, get enough purple items, right? I, oh yeah, that's right. I was literally grinding the super boss. Yeah. The raid boss by myself yeah. to get the guns for the grinder. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And the thing that was. The thing I hated the most about that is they just reused the final boss as the super boss! <laughs> How freaking lazy is that? Mm hmm. So lazy. That's so stupid! Yep. That 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 pissed me off. That really pissed me off. No, no, it was so dumb. Yeah. The, which is weird because it had like one of the best DLCs, which was you yeah. know the one where you go into Crap Trap's head. That was great. Yeah, that, was, that was really funny. That's the thing about Borderlands. Like half the time, like the DLC is better than the actual game. Yeah, the, the, I don't understand why with the DLCs, is, especially with the first game. Yes. DLC blew the first game out of the water. Correct. Especially with that um, General Knox one. Yeah, that <laughs> just was good. wants to die. <laughs> that was so funny. That was so funny. That was so freaking funny. Oh, wait, hold on. You just reminded me of something. Let me pull this up real quick. Um, I saw a thing. It was... Did I send this one to you? Maybe. Yeah, I did. Okay. So you got... Uh, Troy sent this to me. So, like, who's who in the Borderlands movie so far? So you got Kate Blanchett... Kate... How do you say the last name? Kate Blanchett. I think so. She's playing Lilith. You got Jack... That could work. Jack, I think Jack Black is Claptrap, which I can oh, see. Okay. You have Gina Gershon as Moxie. Who? I don't know who that is. Gina Gershon. I'm not looking at these. Well, okay. Sure, I guess. I, I can see maybe, mm, potentially. No. Jamie Lee Curtis is Tannis, which, um. She's too old what? to be Tannis. <laughs> what? Uh, Kevin Hart as as Roland. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's, it's, it gets worse and worse. You have Ariana Greenblatt as Tiny Tina. I have no idea who that which is. I don't. I don't know. I don't really know who that is either. Um, you have Benjamin Byron Davis as. Yeah, as as Marcus. Are you no, looking no, at that? I looked, I looked ahead two more, and I'm just like, what? Yes, that's why when you were talking about General Knox, this is what I thought of. Well, that makes what? It's a chick. But the whole thing that makes it so funny is he's an old guy who just doesn't care anymore. That's what makes his character so freaking funny. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm also, so, she looks like um, she would be a better Mad Moxie than uh, the actress they're getting yeah. to play Mad Moxie. Yeah. It's just the, the actress they got to play, like, she's good looking, but she's not oh. Mad Moxie good looking. Also, like, going back a slide, um, someone's playing 
Atlas? Isn't that a gun company? Yeah, it's one of the companies. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that that's a place card, and it's actually the person that's playing Handsome Jack. And they're just trying Maybe. to cover it up. But Maybe. then again, the fact that they didn't just get Troy Baker to play Handsome Jack is wrong in and of itself, so... Correct, correct. Um, just, uh... Dude, also, well, is Alice the one that, like, sometimes has the talking guns? Maybe that's what it is? I don't know, man. But yeah, this movie's gonna be something else. This movie's gonna be weird, dude. I don't know how I feel about Jack Black as Crap Trap, because here's the thing, I like Jack Black. I don't like Crap Trap. <laughs> That's the entire thing with Crap Trap. He's supposed to annoy the hell out of you. <laughs> I don't think he is. I I know <laughs> that you like this character for some weird reason. I don't. No, you, you don't. <laughs> You don't, you don't understand. I literally like I've heard other people talk about him and be like, he's the best character ever. They're morons. Like, <laughs> I think that's kind of the thing. Like he, you either hate him or you love him. It's not. It's not his character was designed to be hated. Like yeah, within the story, everybody in the world hates him. But I think that's why he's so likable. Is is he's hysterical. In a cringy I don't, way. I just find him painful for the most part. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I hate him. <laughs> I hate Crap Trap so much. <laughs> He's just so annoying. He's so annoying ever since the first game. Especially in the first game. Yeah, in the first game he was he had like two personality traits. In and the one second of them was game just he dancing. was dancing. Yeah. Look at me, I'm dancing. If I had to hear that joke one more time, I swear <laughs> to God I was this close to bludgeoning my ears out. <laughs> you were like, I will burn my PS4 right now. <laughs> I I got the matches in my hand just hovering over the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, just just go ahead and say it, crap trap, so I can burn you. In the second game, he was actually funny, though. Sure. If you say so. He was funnier than he was in the first game. Yeah. That's all you're getting from me is funnier. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I'm, no matter how many times we play the first level, every time he smacks his head on the door, I always laugh. Mm. Oh, God. Dude, I can't believe how boring Borderlands 1 was. Dude, I know, right? <laughs> they was like, oh, Borderlands 1, it's so good. I'm like, really? Really? Yeah, I, was, I, re I remember you being like, dude, um, we should probably play, like, I remember you talking about, you're like, they're coming out with a remastered version, and I think Game Borderlands would be a fun series to play. Yeah, you're like, I think I think the, the Borderlands would be a fun series to play through. We could platinum, like, all of them in, like, three months. <laughs> oh, how naive I was! <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, you know, like, they got some like really good humor. It's really funny. Uh, that sounds great. And then we were playing the first game, and I was like, this is not great. <laughs> I think we both <laughs> said that at the same time. Yeah, yeah, we were like, I don't see the appeal to this at all. But I mean, like, come on, you had heard of Borderlands before, right? Like, it wasn't just I, me being like, oh, hey, there's this niche game series I know of that I supposedly have heard is great, and then find out, no, no. actually, nobody talks about this, and it's terrible. I had heard of it, but I, I know, like, now, and I think at that point, I, I had realized, like, it, I, I know it wasn't just you, like, it is, it, for whatever reason, people rave about the first Yeah, Borderlands. like, I'd heard really good things about the first Borderlands. I thought it'd be a good time. Like, I mean, we, we had, did have, like, yeah, we had we, fun, we had... but it was because we were playing it together. Right. <laughs> Not because right. it was any good. <laughs> no, it was a terrible game. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say terrible. Everything worked in it correctly. It just okay, yeah. wasn't amazing it, until the DLC. Right. It was kind of mundane. Yeah, um, mundane, like that's the, a very good... I like 
the characters in it. Like, like I liked yeah. Lilith and Roland and all them. They were good characters. Mm -hmm. And there were some, there was a few like humorous moments, but overall, it was just kind of like everything's brown. <laughs> Everything is brown, exactly. <laughs> God, I can't believe how much brown there was. It was just every shade of brown you could ever want yeah. was in this game. It was like the game is like, we know we're shit, so we're going to be the color of shit. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, oh my god. And then we got the DLC and it was like a completely different game. Yep. It's like, yep, where was this really. for the last 25 <laughs> hours? And then we got to the second game, we're like, this is why people rave about Yeah, Borderlands. Yeah. Even then, the DLC for the second game was better than the game itself. Yeah. Which, the yep. base game was really good. It was. Which, well, I, I, I wouldn't actually know, because you kind of just broke it, but... <laughs> Dude, no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Uh, I, to this day, I don't know how good or bad Borderlands 2 is because I didn't really experience it. <sighs> That's fair. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe you didn't save. <laughs> uh, well, this was that summer when I was moving. And my mom had just gotten home and she was calling me upstairs to do something, so I was rushing. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. You're like, ah, I gotta go. I was like, okay. And then the next, the next day you're like, why am I level 8? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, so funny. Yeah. Hysterical. True. Tragic, but so funny. Yeah, uh, dude, you gotta finish uh, Lost Legacy. Oh, Platinum? Yeah, yeah that's that's I what, do. that's the next one that pops up for me. That's a very easy yeah. one, so you should definitely do yeah. that. I plan on it. Plus, it's great. <laughs> it's a fun game. I yeah, like that game. It's probably one of the. It's probably, it's like a three-way tie in my mind between two, four, and Lost Legacy for best Uncharted. Yeah, I would say between four and and that one for me at least. Yeah. Two two is great, but like I don't have the same like nostalgia for it that you did, and it's still mm -hmm. like the first two games were kind of clunky like gameplay wise. Yeah, but that train sequence though. But then Lost Legacy yeah. kind of blows that train sequence out of the water. <laughs> yeah, it does. But um, two had such a great villain with Lazarovich. Yeah, he was a good villain. Then, like, three was just like, I don't really understand what the villains are trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are they the bad guys? <laughs> <laughs> why is this the same that's happening? You're like, why do we need to stop them? I don't understand. Why do we care at all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. No, I had fun with the Uncharted games. Um, yeah. Personally, I don't like. I don't know why everyone raves about them as much as they do. Like they're good, but like, like you and Troy and Z, like are like, oh my god, Uncharted, and I'm like, yeah, okay. From it was me, fun. it's because it's basically I get to be Indiana Jones. Okay, that's, that's why fair. I love I those that. games so much is because it is I, like the perfect Indiana Jones power fantasy you know what that's fair I can see that they and do also, a very I, just, job I that. love that set piece stuff like I yeah. love that stuff yeah no I can see it it's um because to me it feels like I'm playing very... a big budget Hollywood action movie yeah. And that's one of the reasons I love video games is because I get to feel like I'm playing like I'm playing a movie. Yeah, no, that's why I love video games as well. 
it's much more like hands-on interactive like you're there yeah versus just like watching a movie you know what i mean yeah so yeah no uncharted was fun though i liked it yeah no it was great games i would love for naughty dog to make another one as long as they don't ruin nathan drake <laughs> Yeah, because they got like, his new one. They got his. Here's a new one. It's Nathan Drake in his teenage years. And you're like, that oh, I wouldn't no. mind. I just don't want them to do a thing where it's like they like, oh, we brought Nathan he's, Drake back as a supporting character or something, and we kill him off to be a, you know, we Joel him. So. <laughs> <laughs> we Joel. <laughs> we Joel him. I mean, it's Naughty Dog. <laughs> Same company! Oh god. Dude. What if they killed Sully? I mean, Sully's pretty old, so I mean, he's gonna keel over pretty soon anyway. Well, no, but like, what if they had a character come in and just like, bash his brains out with a golf club? I'd be like, why? But I wouldn't hate that as much as they... I wouldn't hate that as much as if they brought Nate back just to kill him. To serve as some yeah. type of plot catalyst. device for a, yeah, a c plot catalyst for another character. Yeah, that would That's like fair. infuriate me. Yeah, because he got the happy ending. He got the perfect ending that he deserved to get, and then to just yeah. ruin it just to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm Sorry, that that mm -hmm. would just that would just piss me off so much. I'll write them a letter and give them that idea so that they do it. <laughs> no, don't do that. Neil Druckmann would actually do it. <laughs> Here we go. Alternate universe. Ellie goes to the world, gets a connection to Nathan Drake. He ends up dying. What is this, fan another, fiction? <laughs> an <laughs> another revenge story. Take oh two. God, yeah, no, just, just what we need. Another revenge story with Ellie. Yeah, take the most hopeful and happy character of the last game and completely ruin her. Yep, that's <laughs> definitely what we wanted to see. Yes. Okay, okay, I need I need to get off The Last of Us 2 or I'm going to start ranting. Even though I haven't <laughs> even played it, I'm going to start ranting. <laughs> oh, man. Because Last of Us 1 was so good. Even as much as there are times when I hate that game, Last Wish 1 was so good. It was very good. And then just to do what they did with those characters, just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to basically take a world that I was... That, like... It's a zombie game. I should not be interested in it because I don't like zombie games. But the characters are so well written and so good that I want to see what happens with them. And then to take them and lead them in an area where it's just like... I really don't care if you make a third game. Yeah. It really pisses me off. No, that's... Because it's like, I really don't care if you make a third game. You put these characters in such a miserable place to end with. That it's just like, I just, I don't care. I just yeah. don't care. I really liked it. I know. <laughs> it was a very different opinion than, than what you probably were expecting. Yeah. Uh, but I love that game. I mean, I have it, to play it still. I mean, I know I probably shouldn't be making judgments about playing it, but I've seen a lot of the cutscenes. I've I mean, seen a lot yeah, of the you gameplay. Know, you I know, know most of the enough story. to make a judgment call on it. So, I mean, I'm probably a little bit harsher than I actually am. You know, but it's still just like, I don't want to yeah. see these characters that like I really liked in the first game end up so miserable and broken. Uh, no, they. Yeah, Ellie definitely. So it's just like, why, yeah. why in the hell would I want to follow her through a third game? Like, why? Yeah. <laughs> you left her a complete broken mess by the end of the second game. Why would I want to do anything else with this character? Well, that's kind of what I like about it, though. Like, that's. Because I've seen, like, okay, so someone Alex compared it. Okay, so Alex is morbid as frick. 
why do you think I like the creepy game? <laughs> like Bioshock. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I love, I love that stuff. Well, the thing is, like, I've seen it... I've, somebody online compared, like... They said... What did they say? Like, um, Last of Us is, like, Dark Uncharted. Um, which, when they said that, I was like, that, like... I can see that, and that makes a lot of sense. That's why I like Last of Us a lot more than Uncharted. Um, I like the dark, gritty kind of worlds like that. Um, and then for them to take the dark, gritty world with these characters that you like, and you can see years have passed, and you can see what it's done to them, how it's affected them, how it's changed them. I mean, I and, guess. And, I guess. It's just a thing of, like, I don't really know where else they could go with the story at the end. I don't either, but but I do, like, you, your, your point on it is, why would I want to follow this broken character? And for me, that's why I want to follow it, because she's, she's not, like, it's not a perfect happy ending. It's, it's, she's very broken, she's figuring stuff out. The way they leave it out, or like, well, the way it ends, she's just, like, walking away from a house that's empty that, like, her ex left her. Like. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I get all that. But to me, it's a thing of, like, Ellie's supposed to be, like, this one character that's hopeful in the midst of all of this horror. And yeah. so to break her is just to destroy any sense of hope within this world. And so then it's just like, why, why would I even want to play a third game? That's fair. I mean, if that's if that's like how you're viewing the first game, then yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can see that, and I, I would agree with you. Um, but yeah, um, I had another thought, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> Yeah, no, this game, like, the second one pissed me off at a couple points. It mostly had to do... With Abby? With, yes. <laughs> I hated I will, her character. I will stand by the thing to the day I died that Last of Us 2 has pacing problems. Or structure issues. Yes. And that is the agree. one reason why it divided the fan base so much. I would agree. It, the way, they could have done it so many different ways, and the way they did it, I understand why they did it the way they did it, but I don't. Yeah, I mean, I agree don't because it's it. a thing of they just went for shock value. They went for the shock value death at the beginning to try and make headlines. Be like, oh my gosh, they actually did that! I can't believe they did it. Rather than actually like going for a good story, like there's a good story surrounding all of it, but how it connects to that death is not good. I was more so talking about when they make you play as Abby. Like yeah, they, well, that's that's kind of what I mean. Because it's like if they had made Joel die at the end rather than the beginning, and like you play as Abby towards the beginning and you see her perspective and everything first, it wouldn't make Joel's death at the end as jarring or as difficult. Yeah. Or as, you know, because the way they do it makes it feel very much like they're just going for shock value for the sake of shock value. Right. No, that's because they don't explain any of it until, like, halfway through. And there's also like, things of can... just, like, they try and make you play as Abby after killing Joel. Yes. It's like, frick no. Yes. Just frick not no. Only, not only do they do that, but, like, the way it's set up is, like, you have, you play as Ellie for three days and there's this climax where you you, you, you you're in the like theater yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking and that about. whole climax scene happens and before it gets resolved they're like oh guess what you get to play as Abby for the next like four hours before that gets resolved at all and it's like, like I have literally less than no interest <laughs> in doing this this character in this character, and also, like, I just want to see how that plays out. Like, I don't want to go yeah. through getting to know this character. Also, I hate this there's character. There's just little things from that game that I hate. Just little things. Yeah. Like, the fact that when you play as... They have you play as Abby, 
in like the camp and like you go up and pet the dogs that you later have to stab as Ellie. I hate that. <laughs> I freaking despise that. <laughs> because it's yeah. like don't make me feel sympathetic. Don't make them don't make them happy dogs. If you are going to make me <laughs> fight enemy dogs in a game, they have to be mean, vicious, and evil. You cannot make them happy. No. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and even then you have trouble with it. Not as much though. Yeah, that's fair. That's why I hated that. I hate the stupidity of allowing a pregnant woman to go out on the battlefield. Yeah, that was stupid. Like, what the actual frick? That was dumb as hell. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Mm hmm. And then also, like, Abby gets laid. It's like, no, nobody wants to see that. No. Really, nobody like, wants to see that. absolutely nobody wants to see Abby get railed from behind. <laughs> nope. Nope. It was like for three <laughs> seconds, but still, no. Yeah. And wasn't, like, the characters, like, about to kill each other and then they just start going at it? Or something like that. They, like they were fighting. Were in a, like, they were in a disagreement, and they kind of like threw hands for a second, and they were like, "Oh, this is kind of hot." <sighs> but like, they had, it made it made <sighs> sense, kind of. It made sense, kind of, because they used to date. I mean, I guess, but. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, oh, at the same time, nobody wants that. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. Nope. Uh, I'm I'm both looking forward to and not looking forward to playing that game. Yeah, it's you'll have fun with I think most of it because the gameplay is so so good, so so good. Yeah, just like oh god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. On to a happier topic. Uh, you you still have to finish Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Looking you at my list first. Yeah, the platinum. Yeah, I do. I have all I have left in that is the challenge rooms and replaying it. I think on the a hard difficulty. Hard difficulty is not bad at all. No. I don't I didn't think it would be. Um yeah, and then I have to go back and do more city stuff, which I don't know if I'm going to do. I should. Oh, Arkham I don't City, know you mean? Would. Oh, yeah, I've got that yeah. sitting on my list at 17%. I haven't even finished yeah. its campaign for the... Because this is my second time playing it. I haven't even finished its yeah. campaign because it's just like, I don't... I know the Riddler challenges are waiting for me. And I don't mean the finding all the Riddler trophies. I mean the challenge rooms, Riddler's Revenge... I know oh. that's waiting for me, and I just don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. I... I don't... I... Yeah, those... I, I had a lot of fun with the campaign. That was very good. Yeah. Um, and I did, I did a little bit of the extra stuff, but not much. Yeah. And then I basically was like, I want to do... I want to actually do Arkham Knight. And then... Arkham Knight's I've done some of I love that game. I've done, it has some I've issues, some I will admit, it has issues, but there's <laughs> parts of that game that are just amazing. Yeah. I'm excited to finally, like, finish it, you know what I mean, finish the yeah. trilogy. Because I've heard so much about these games for so long, I've never really been able to play them. So. Yeah. Yeah. I've got both Asylum and Night completely done. I, it's just City is the only one I haven't platinumed. It's the mm. only part of the trilogy I haven't done, and because it it kind of scares me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I don't blame you. It's a, do it's a huge I one. I don't want to do that. It's going to be such a time sink. Yeah. <sighs> so I just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. <sighs> yeah, I don't blame you. Dude, when are you going to do uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider? You own it, right? 
I own two of them. I don't remember which two. Uh, Tomb Raider, the first one is on PS3. So I'm assuming you own Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yes, I believe that is correct. I own the blue one and the other one. <laughs> yep, that's blue one is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider is really good, in all honesty. I played, I think, like a quarter of it, and it was good. It reminded me a lot of Uncharted. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed Uncharted more, but, like, yeah. it was Agreed. good. It scratched that, like, Indiana Jones esque itch. Yeah. No, I think that's what it's there for. Um. I've got, uh, Skyrim on here. Yeah, you did that yep. in, like, what, four weeks? Like, it I was did impressive. It in two weeks. Yeah, you Jeez. <laughs> I did it in two weeks. Right. That's gonna be, I think, my biggest flex. <laughs> Trophy wise, yeah, there are okay. So, there are some games on here that I've either platinumed or played that I'm very excited for you to eventually play. Skyrim is one of them. I really, I know it's on your list, but you're like, it's a ways off. But, like, I'm very excited for you to play that game, yeah. I would say, I'm excited for you to play that game. I want you to play Little Nightmares. I, I really. I want to know what you think about that game. I don't know if you like it or not, because it, it's very creepy. I'm not much of a like horror a, game guy. Yeah, it's creepy in a very, like, Bioshock way. But, like, I would say even more creepier. Mm. Um, it's not horror horror, but it's slightly more horror than Bioshock. Yeah. Um, Dude, one game I'm really proud of, even though Chris will never... Let me live it down is Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. Yeah, I don't same. care that I used the invincibility glitch for the last couple pantheons. Everything else in that game I did legit. Yeah, same. I did the Nightmare King Grim fight legit. I didn't even do that. I just copped out. <laughs> yeah, so I did uh, like 95% of that game legitimately. Yeah. So, I am proud of Hollow Knight Platinum. Well, the thing is, like, it's DLC anyway. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I, I agree with you on that one. If yeah. it was, like, regular stuff, then maybe not as much. Kind of like, kind of like, um, Bioshock 2, where it was kind of like, yeah, I don't know how proud I am of this one, but at the same time, I want it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Dude, another game that's been sitting on here forever that I haven't finished is Bloodborne. Bloodborne, yeah. It's so hard, dude. Dude, I'm excited to play it eventually. I'm gonna hit a point where I'm just like only playing Souls games, and I'm gonna be dying. <laughs> You're gonna turn into Richard. Yes, yes. Well, I, I, I own all of them, basically. You've got have, uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. Sekiro and Bloodborne? Bloodborne, yep. I own all of them. Nice. How many of the Souls yeah. likes do you own, though? What do you mean, Souls like? Well, Fallen like, Order is a Souls like. Remnant, okay, I would consider yeah. a Souls like. Um. Neo 1 and 2 are definitely Souls like. Oh, Neo, really? I think I have yeah. one of them. Because of PS Plus. Okay. Yeah, Neo, Neo 1 and 2 are definitely Souls likes. Okay. Any chance some of the other people at the base might um, I don't know. Yeah, so you're saying there. Remnant's a Souls like? I would consider it a Souls like. Because it's like Dark Souls with guns. Yeah, it's like Dark Souls with guns. Yeah. I would. See, I don't know if Returnal counts or not. No, because I, it's, it's more. It's a roguelike. Yeah. I mean, I would say if you say the that's, bosses are, if you say that's like a bosses, souls like, then every rogue like is like a souls like. Yeah, that's fair. Um, the bosses are harder than than. Um, Any idea why they turned on you? Where's the game called again? Remnant. Yeah, the bosses in Returnal are harder than Remnant. I believe most of them are. Yeah. Well. 
I'm thinking mainly the third one, I guess, and that one is harder. The other ones, maybe, maybe no. But, yeah, I do, I'll agree with you on that one. It's, I can't attack it with last night, so it's only like, nah. Dude, one of my, I, you, one of your biggest flexes is Skyrim. One of my biggest flexes is, aside from Fall Guys, that's definitely my biggest flex, is Fall Guys. <laughs> but one of my biggest yeah. flexes is Battlefront 2. Yeah. That. I can't you believe you actually got that. Safety yeah. They trusted you. They mm. trade that trust. That's funny to me that, like, I played all these games and I'm like, damn, these are like, I'm very proud of these, these are all good. And still, like, all of my rarest trophies are just Borderlands trophies. <laughs> uh, that's so funny to me. Yeah. Dude, I think eventually Witcher is going to be one of my biggest flexes. As well. Yeah, I think so. I think that's definitely going to. If I, if I can, if I can get it, hoping I'll be able to. I think you can do it. Yeah, I think I can too. You just have to get back into where the where you were with the card game and what you still need. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. I think you got it. Yeah, the hard part is gonna be like finishing the game because the, the last couple like boss fights because you, you basically have a back-to-back -back boss fight where you have like this mage dude that you have to fight and he's hard and then you immediately get thrown into the final boss right after that Oof. Well, um, I mean, and you he's have even to worse that fight can't you go for a bad ending and skip it no you um. have to you have to go through the fight and then the way the way the ending works, from what I remember, how you get the different endings is just it's all dialogue options. So you can get a bad end. Well, actually, I'm not positive. You might be able to. Well, I mean, it's you. But You'll find a bad ending no matter what. <laughs> I already I already did the bad ending. <laughs> no. um, that was your first ending. Yeah, my first playthrough was a bad ending. Yeah, but no, like, dude, the if, there, if there is an option for a bad ending, you will get it. <laughs> yeah, I always find the bad ending. Um, but yeah, it's dialogue options that don't, like, it, on surface level, it doesn't look like it's going to be a bad ending. Like, I was just like, oh, like, don't go do this thing, don't be a hero. And she was like, I have to. And then she walked into the snowy <sighs> portal and then ended up dying. Oops. Yeah, and I was like, what was I supposed to do? Like, I tried to not have her do that. <laughs> and then, and then the ending was, like, me just, like, revenge killing some other people. Oh, the, uh, crows, crones, or whatever they were called? Yeah, yep, the crones to get her necklace. So, or her pendant, I guess. But, yeah. Which... Like, as far as the endings go, I felt like it was a pretty solid one, but, like, it's definitely the most depressing one that they have. Yeah, definitely. Dang, I missed some stuff with Pharos, and you go back there. <sighs> yeah. Uh, do you think you'll do Death Stranding? I'm gonna at least finish the game. I don't know if I'll platinum it. I honestly wouldn't recommend the plat. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to. Probably not. Don't. But I'll think, this is one of the few times I'm actually going to say, don't, don't do, do it. it. Damn. That's how much the Platinum ruined the experience for me. Damn. That's impressive. Because it, it was just, oh god, it was just so boring. It was so <laughs> boring. Damn. No. Dude, I would really like. I finally getting you into Mass Effect, which makes me very happy. Yeah. Like I've gotten you to play Uncharted, which makes which I'm very happy about. You're playing Mass Effect finally, which I'm very happy about. Now I just have to see if I can get you into Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. I don't think I'll be able to do that one. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean Ryan loved loves them. So I mean maybe. You know? Maybe. Maybe.
I don't know, the Disney stuff, like, I've never been a huge, like, Mickey Mouse, Disney stuff like that. Like, For, neither have I, I like, though. Really? And you yeah, like the Kingdom really. Hearts stuff? Oh, yeah, no, I love, I love Kingdom Hearts, man. Interesting. Like, I mean, have you ever known me to really talk about, aside from Star Wars and Marvel, since those are technically Disney now, Disney movies? No, not really. Yeah, no, I didn't, like, really grow up on, like, Disney, watching tons of Disney movies or anything like that. I just love Kingdom Hearts because of its overly complex and convoluted story. <laughs> <laughs> and also, That's it's fair. a crossover between Disney and Final Fantasy. That's true. So. It's such a weird concept to me. <laughs> I know, but it's so much fun. I mean, who doesn't want to hit somebody with a giant key? I mean, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, you know, you got me there. I mean, you really <laughs> mean to tell me that when you, like, leave in the morning and lock the door, you don't look at your key in your hand and go, man, I wish this was giant so I could hit somebody <laughs> with it. <laughs> you know, every morning, that is my thought. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Yep. Then Fallen Order. Fallen Order was so good. The is ashore. Yeah, dude, Fallen Order was amazing. I love that game, love that man. Game. I love so that good. game. It's so good. So, so good. good. Yes. Killzone 2 is permanently now sitting on my list and will never be finished because it's online and <laughs> shut down. Oof. That's unfortunate. I resigned myself to never getting that platinum when I played it the first time. Because yeah. platinum requires you to be in like the top 50 players on the online leaderboards for that week. Oh, damn. And yeah. Like, that's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening because the only people playing the game online anymore were the really good players. Yeah. So that That's was fair. just that was just not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay. There's down the tunnels, there we go, okay.
Hello. I'm Hi. back. Dude, you remember when we used to play Onrush? Oh my god, yeah, I do. That was a good game. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. For what it was. Yeah. It's, um... Oh, actually. There's a way I can pull up the trophies on PS5 and also compare with yours. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Nice. Um, yeah. You're 42% of the way through Mass Effect. Nice. I am? Oh, wow. I haven't checked the percentage in a bit, so. Because yeah, I've been playing, like, all day. You have even killed it. Uh, nope, nope. You're having me now. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I just died. <laughs> Do you know what game? I don't know if you own it or not, but you know what game we should try? See what? if it's gotten better. Uh, no Man's Sky? Oh. I don't own it. Hmm. Okay. I heard it got but, a lot better with a lot of updates. That's what I've heard too. I also think it has a PS5 version of it. Yeah. Apparently they're doing an event right now. If you finish the event, you get the Normandy in the game. I don't know what that means. Normandy is the ship from Mass Effect. Oh. Damn, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that you platinum shovel knight. <laughs> <laughs> I was really proud of that one. I am yeah. really that's that's one of my flexes. I'm really proud of that one. Mm -hmm. Especially with that like hour thirty speed run trophy. Dude, no no kidding. I see you have Man Eater sitting on your list. I plan to platinum that eventually. Yeah, you definitely should. Oh, dude, you should totally go back to Infamous Second Son. I've heard such good things about that. Yeah, dude. The beginning part of it was a lot of fun. Um, I have a higher percentage in Edith Finch than you do. Haha. <laughs> We're both missing like one trophy. Yep. You're, wait. You literally are missing one trophy. Yeah, but it would have required me to start the game over and I didn't want to. And I'm, I'm missing I'm go like... I'm and finish it eventually. I'm missing like four of them. How are you but missing I, four I, trophies? I, I have a higher percentage than you because that one's so rare, I think. That's so stupid. Because I have the one that you're missing, yeah. How did you get that one? That makes no Cause sense. Because I, I made sure to look in all the people's and telescopes. That's so dumb, dude. Because I knew that was a thing when I'm going into it, so I was like, I'm going to make sure I do this. But I didn't know about the other ones. That's so funny. That's so dumb. <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta finish Detroit. I don't You're know so if I close. can. I'm so close, but it's gonna take like three or four more playthroughs. And as good of a game as it is, I don't think I have that in me. Mm, fair. How have you not finished 36 Fragments of Midnight? It is a hard game. Dude, that's an 81% platinum. It is a hard game. Dude, it's it's a grunt plat. What the fuck? I know man? it. That's why I got it, and then I was like, I'm having way too much trouble with it. It's the it's <laughs> What? It's not. It's not an easy game. <laughs> it's a three out of ten difficulty. 
One hour! Uh, How do you not have this? <laughs> I don't know why it's so, much, so hard for me, but it is. <laughs> oh god, dude, I remember when you were playing Portal Bridge Constructor. Yep. You're like, I'm gonna platinum this. I'm like, are you? <laughs> are you? It's Bridge I Constructor. Wanna go, I wanna go back to it, but it's not fun. Mm. It's not fun at all. Wait, you've you've platinumed Infamous and Infamous Two. Yeah. Are those that's part of the Infamous like Second Sound stuff, right? No. Those are the original games on the PS3. Infamous yeah, Second Son like, is the third game. That's what I meant. Like, it's probably the same world, though, right? Oh, yeah, it's probably the same franchise. Okay. Those are really good games. I'd love for them to get ported so you could play them. Mm. Yeah. Dude. Oh, dude, Maquette. I really... You added that to the library, right? Before it went away? What? To your library? Maquette. I Maquette think so. Because it was a free game. Okay. Because I definitely, like... Easy plat. Easy plat. Um, so, like... When you get a PS5... Highly recommend. Yeah. Dude, I still can't believe Steep is one of my rarest Platinums. <laughs> like, why? I don't understand why that game is such a rare Plat. What is that? Oh, it's my water bottle. Oh, okay. I couldn't quite tell what the sound was. <laughs> like, it sounds like he's opening and closing a cookie jar, but drinking out of it, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm drinking the cookies. Dude, I'm excited for you to play Red Dead 2. I'll get to it eventually. It's going to be a while. Josh, do it now. <laughs> no. Uh, dude, Spyro was a, fun, was a fun plat. I do want to do those. I would like to do yeah. those because that's, that's one of the last few mascot trilogy platformers that are on my list to do. i got to finish The Last of Sly. And then really all I've got left is Crash and Spyro. And like, yeah. all I've knocked off like every single major, at least in on the list in my head, knocked off every single major platformer. Yeah. Mascot platformer, I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. Dude, I can't tell you how angry I am that Days Gone 2 got canceled. Well, I mean, there's a petition. Sometimes oh. that works. They need to bring it back, dude. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I still can't believe I platinum Undertale and I still didn't finish the game. <laughs> dude, finish that. <laughs> you mean to tell me you haven't fought Sands? I haven't fought Sands. I don't know if my run qualifies for me. Qualifies me for that fight. Uh, dude, a friend of mine was doing the genocide run and he let me take a crack at Sans. Dear mm. god, that boss fight is hard, man. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm on the boss fight before the final boss fight, and I can't even beat it. So... Oh, dude, Trevor saves the universe. Such a good game. Yeah, I heard a lot of good things about that. Mainly it's so you. funny. It's so funny. Like, if you like, if you like Rick and Morty humor at all, it's so funny. Oh, dude, let me move, let me move! Frick, 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 um, 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 okay. You throw, there we go. Bringing progans. So basically, 36 fragments of midnight, right? Yeah. You go along, jumping up and down in between these like different like booby traps, from level to level. Yeah. Um, which it's not that hard, but the thing is. You collect these fragments, and the goal of the game is to get 36 pr fragments and then make it to the end. Okay. And I've never... I played the game for a chunk of time, trying to get the platinum, and I've never even gotten the 36 fragments. Like, I die before I get 36. Ooh. So, the trophies that I have left to do, get 36 fragments, get 36 fragments in less than 6 minutes, Die with 36 fragments, get 36 fragments in less than 10 minutes. Those are the trophies I have left, and I, <laughs> I always die. Like, mm. I could probably download it and like try and do it again. Hmm. Because that definitely that was one of my grub plats. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I was like, ah, two bucks. Easy platinum, and then it just it wasn't an easy platinum. Yeah. Uh, dude, what? Did you not like Untitled Goose Game? Oh no, um, I liked it. Um, but what happened with that is I got it to play with Hannah, and oh. we got stuck on the second level. Um, and I only play it when when she comes over. And half the time we don't even play it, so we just kind of are stuck on a level right now. Okay. But I'm just like, I've, I've heard, heard such good things about that. Yeah, it's it's a fun game. It's a weird game, but it's a fun game. Weren't you really into my friend Pedro when it came out? I've played a chunk of it, but I never really planned on platinuming it. I kind of hit a point where it was like, okay, this is repetitive. I, uh, I just thought you were like well, really okay. into it for a while. No, not really. No, okay. I think you're thinking of your other friend, Alex. <laughs> I don't have another friend <laughs> named Alex. <laughs> Downloaded? I do have it downloaded. Okay, we'll take a crack at it right now. What thirty-six fragments of midnight or my friend Pedro? <laughs> oh, thirty-six fragments of midnight. Should I stream it so you can see it? It doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm still playing Mass Effect while we talk. So. Okay. Okay. Fair. Because I'm trying to get this completionist trophy tonight. Because I'm close. I'm so yeah. close, dude. I can taste it. And it tastes like completion. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, I remember why I stopped playing this game. What have you made me do? Dude, it's an 81... Look, it's an 81% platinum rate, man. I'm sorry. I have to call you out on that. <laughs> you can't expect me not to call you out on that. Well, I heard how easy it was, and it's <laughs> not. It's not easy. I don't know if it's just me being a bitch or like. 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I didn't die. How many do I have? Seven out of thirty-six. Okay. Wait. Is there any more this way? No. Okay. Watch as he gets like six of the trophies in one go this time. <laughs> Probably. But you also have to like keep track of where you are, where you've been, and like yeah. remember. I don't remember even like where the end is either. I gotta talk to turn the transmitter quest. God damn it. No! I died. Collected 13, the best I've done is 18. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yep. I told you, I'm not good at this game. Oof. Oh no. Thank you for everything you tried to do. Free. I can't believe I'm free. No. I died again. <laughs> Are you sure there's not just some exploit you're missing or something? I'm pretty sure you just have to play the game. <laughs> just saying. Okay, what am I missing to get this stupid trophy? I died again. I'm so bad at this. I don't know how the percentage for completion is so high. Like, it must only be people who, like, enjoy playing it <laughs> and got good at it. Like, this is the only game on the PlayStation, and they're like, damn, I'm gonna master this. I think the majority of the game. Oh, I have to look at it from the Mass Effect 3 file because, of course, I do. Or the PS3 file because there's no guide for the PS4 one yet. Awesome. I'm done playing this for tonight. It's gonna make me angry. It's gonna make me angry. Uh, why would you do this to me, Josh? Because it's an 80% platinum and you don't have it. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Biomutant? Uh, I haven't looked that much into it. It looks kind of cool. I don't know. It's it's not something I'm like, oh my god, I want to play it. You know. No, me either. It looks very weird. Oh. Ow. Dang it. Ow, ow, ow. Frick. Frick. Ow. You ever yawn and your throat cramps? No. You're lucky. What normally, ha what normally happens to me is um, my jaw cracks. Oh no, my jaw does that too, except it'll lock in place oh. when I yawn, and then I have to like kind of like it back into place. That doesn't sound like fun. No, it's not. And then I'll still get a cramp in my neck anyway. <laughs> Damn. Assignment slash side. I hate. 
You hate what? I hate this headset. I keep unplugging <laughs> it by accident. I know. I hear it happen every time. Quests. It's still not popping up for me. Awesome. Whenever I did the two quests here that I could. Moving on. Oh, dude, No Man's Sky is half off with PS Plus. Oh, nice. Officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. What uh, stats bar do I have filled? Out of curiosity, I've almost got 75% of Paragon filled. There, I have another 14 points to dump. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember what the thing is here.
I wish I could look at the map of the world before landing and see if I've been there or not. Oh wow, there's a good amount here. I've already done it all, frick. Yeah, okay. I've already been through this area. Come on, seriously, nothing? Eden Prime, that's where it was before. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> nothing, really? Absolutely nothing. So not helpful. Fine, let's travel to here. Now I need like a few more writings to get a couple more quests done. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. So helpful. No, I've been there. Yes, finally, okay. Perfect, what we got? Another gas deposit, not super helpful. Nothing in the asteroid field. Sweet, three points to survey. Yes!
Why isn't that all perfect? Nothing there? Okay. Atlas land. Perfect, have not been here yet. Stress signal, so there's a quest here. Did this frick? Yep, okay. Hey, I'm not going to watch them, I've been doing what I haven't. I've been here too. Not helpful.
Oh, maybe I have. Frick. Maybe I haven't. Door's not working. There we go, finally. Empty. Everything shut down. Only basic life support is running. Dang it, okay. That was easy. Take those, thank you. Love finding all this level 9 equipment. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Uh-oh. Okay, that was easy.
Yes, another survey. Come on, give me something good. Yes. Okay, check the asteroid field. Nothing. All right. Any other? Nope. I think I've been here before. Oh wait. Yeah, I have. Frick. <sighs> Missing one protein artifact. Two league medallions, two Asari writings, nine light medals, nine heavy medals, seven rare earths. I don't know where else to go to look for these. Okay, I'm gonna call it here. I'm tired. <sighs> we'll try and finish this up tomorrow.